Hi guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be filming an iPad OS 14 customization video. Before I get started with the video, I do want to say thank you so much for all of the love on my recent video. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I posted an iOS 14 customization iPhone video and the video did really well. And honestly, I was so surprised and so happy and appreciative. So I just wanted to take the time and say thank you. For those of you who are new here and don't know me, my name is Sam. I'm a lifestyle YouTuber who who sometimes post tech content. So I just wanted to introduce myself really quick, but I am in no way a tech master. This is just something that I like to do in my free time. With all that being said, if you guys did wanna subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Also, thank you so much for 10K. That is amazing and I love you guys so much for it. I'm truly so appreciative. If you do wanna subscribe, like I said, it would be amazing. If you don't, it's okay. Thank you still for watching this video. If you want to chat with me down below, leave me a comment down below. I normally answer every single comment or at least acknowledge the comment. If I don't get to it, it's just because I didn't see it. It's not because I'm ignoring it. On my last video, I got over like 500 comments, so it was really hard to answer all of them just because I am in school, but I will try my best and give the video a huge thumbs up because every time you interact with my video, it really helps my videos get pushed out to other people and helps me get recognized by others. With all that being said, I think I talked enough, so let's get into this video. All right, so for those of you who don't know, I have the new iPad 2020 and I have it in the space gray version. I honestly love this iPad so much and I customized it pretty cool. I did a different aesthetic than my phone just because I wanted to make it different. And so many of you asked me how I got the color of my dock to change on my phone, how I got my white little stars on my phone video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have it linked down below if you wanna watch it. And you also asked me some other questions like how to not get shortcuts to open so much when you change the app icon. I have a trick that reduces it so it does still open shortcuts but it makes it a lot quicker. So instead of like one second, it's like 0.5 seconds. So it is a little more convenient. So be sure to stay to the end to know how to do that on your iPad and on your iPhone. So everything that you are going to see on my iPad picture wise and aesthetic wise will be pinned to my Pinterest which is linked down below. In my other video, I did my Mentioned that my aesthetic was from Julia K. Chris and that it was pinned on her board. I do want to say again that these pictures are not from me. I did find them from other people's Pinterest boards, but it's not from one person, so I don't really know who to credit for it. But to whoever took these pictures, credit to you. And for the pictures that were in my iPhone video, they're also pinned to my Pinterest now as well under my iOS 14 board. All right, so I'm going to start screen recording. So this is my lock screen. I really like it. It's from Pinterest. It's just simple. I like the green and pink aesthetic. So that's what I was kind of going for here. And I'm going to turn my iPad sideways so you guys could see everything. So obviously I do have the widget and I do have all my customization apps. I really like my iPad to be simple because I do use it for school. And then going over to the right, I just have all of my extras and I will show you guys again how to get those little hearts and the fonts to change in a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what's different from the iPhone to the iPad update of iOS 14. So for those of you who don't know on the iPhone, you could have widgets on your home screen or your screen to the right of your home screen on any page you want. But for the iPad, you can't. You could only have it in the screen to the left. So when you swipe left from your home screen, but when it's sideways, you can see it still on your home page what you would do is you would just hold down and you would hit edit home screen and then at the top it's going to say keep on home screen you're just going to turn that on and then they will stay on home screen okay so really quick this is just an overview of what my widgets look like and what my whole ipad looks like so i'm going to go into detail on how you add the widgets so obviously you do need the widget app. So you're gonna go onto the app store. You are going to download Widget Smith. Obviously you will need the iPad OS 14 little update as well, which is again in settings, just go to general software update and update it, and then go to your app store and download Widget Smith. So once you're in Widget Smith, what you're going to do to add a widget is you're going to hit add small widget. You're going to hit small number six. You can rename it if you wanted to, but you don't have to. You are going to hit the default widget and you are going to choose which one you want. So for example, if you wanted to add a photo, you're going to hit photo, you're going to hit selected photo. They updated this for my iPhone video, so this is a much easier way to do it. So make sure you update Widget Smith if you have not and it's still like a little confusing. You are going to choose a picture that you want and then you are just gonna go back and hit save. 
So now you're going to see the small number six widget and the photo is going to be there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your little widget section, which is on the left of your homepage. You're going to hold down on a widget and hit edit home screen. You're going to hit add. You're going to hit widget submit. You're going to hit the add widget and it'll pop up right here. Now it may not be the one that you chose. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit it. You're going to hit widget and you're going to change it to the one that you wanted it to be and it'll pop up right there. I am going to delete it just because I don't want that there. It's just for showing you guys how to do it. All right, so that's how you add your widget. Now, the thing I did want to mention is if you hold your iPad like this and you swipe to the left, you will see all your widgets. It's just you won't see them on your homepage. That's why I recommend holding your iPad like this in order to see them because I think it looks more aesthetic. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is shortcuts. So as you guys know, you can have new app icon folders that look really cute. The only thing is that this happens. So if I click YouTube, it's going to go to shortcuts and then it's going to go to YouTube. It is a little inconvenient, but I like the aesthetic, so it doesn't personally bother me that much. But like I said, mine probably looks a little shorter than yours. That is because I found something in the settings app that makes it a lot easier and a little quicker to get to the app. So first things first, I'm going to show you how you actually get these pictures to show up on your screen and what I did with the other apps since the iPad does not have app library. You go into shortcuts, so you are going to open the shortcuts app and how you're going to do it is you're going to hit add. Then you're going to hit scripting and open app. You're going to hit choose and you're going to choose the exact app that you want your app icon to be. So I'm just going to do the calendar just because I know that I don't have anything named that on my phone. So I'm just going to type in calendar for the name after hitting the three dots at the top next to new shortcut. And then for the font, which I got a lot of questions on, I'm just putting a space in between each letter. Then I'm going to hit done and then I'm going to hit the three dots again. I'm not sure why, but on the iPad, if you just go to add home screen, it doesn't let the name change, at least for me, which is weird. So that's how you fix it. You're going to hit the little icon next to calendar. You're going to choose a photo. So I'm just going to use one that I already chose. So we'll just use this, for example. You can zoom in and have it however you want. You're going to hit use and add, and then it will be on your home screen right here. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to delete it just because I don't want that there, but that is how you would do it. Now, how do you make the shortcuts go away faster when you open the app? Again, I will show you guys what I mean. If I hit Pinterest, it's going to go to shortcuts really fast and then go to Pinterest. What you do is you go into settings. So for me, my settings is in my extra folder and I will get to that in a minute. You go into settings and you are going to go to accessibility. And I actually don't know where it is off the top of my head. So you're just going to type in reduce motion. You're going to click reduce motion and you're going to make sure that is on. The difference is when you have reduce motion on, it makes the app switch really fast and it's just a little more convenient because I know when it opens at shortcuts and then goes to the Instagram app, for example, it could be kind of annoying. So that's a little way you can try to fix it. The next thing that I'm going to cover is how I got my dock to not be gray and how I got it to be that like light pink color. Now, I do want to mention that you can't really choose the color. The only thing you can do is choose the background. The only difference is I don't have my iPad or iPhone in dark mode. I have it in light mode. You are going to type in dark mode at the top of your settings. And if I turn dark mode on, you will see that when I go out, my dock is gray. But when I turn light mode on, you will see that my dock is actually the same color as my background. So a good way to change the color of your dock is by choosing a background color that you like, that you want your dock to be, and then simply just changing your iPad or iPhone to light mode instead of dark mode if you want your dock to be a different color. That's the only way I actually know how to do it. I don't know other ways and I didn't actually do anything and then I was getting so many questions on it and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize, I don't know. Another thing that I realized is that my font is white. I'm sorry to say that I have no idea why it is white. I know that some people's are black. I think it really just depends on the background. So if your background is lighter, it's going to make it white. And if your background is darker, it's going to make it black. I think, don't quote me on that, but that is what I noticed at least with my iPad. The next thing I'm going to cover is shapes. Now, for me, I personally love the shapes little thing that you can do with the iPad. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into notes and you're going to hit the scribble logo and then you're going to draw. So I'm going to take my Apple Pencil and draw a heart 
and then if I hold it down, it'll make it into a real shape, which is kind of cool. So if I do a circle, it does the same thing. You just have to hold it down and then it will make it into a perfect symmetrical shape. And this is the same thing with square. So the next thing I wanted to cover was the difference between the iPad and the iPhone is that the iPad does not have app libraries. So I just color coded everything and kept my apps in this little folder on the next page, just because I thought it looked cute color coded and also because you do need the apps on your iPad and your device. Even if you have the little shortcuts feature, you can't just delete the apps. So you do need them on the iPad. So I just kept them in this little folder as you guys can see right now. The next thing that I got asked a lot was how did I actually find the white little stars and the hearts that I have right here where it says extras. What you're going to do is you're going to open Safari and then you're just going to type in white heart emoji tumblr and then you're going to hit search and it is going to be the first one that comes up you're just going to click that and then copy and paste one of the emojis and that's literally all you have to do the next thing i wanted to talk about is other apps that you can use that i find really cool so you're going to open the app store you're going to type in widget smith or actually just type in widget and hit search and some really cool apps that you can get are color widgets now these just have cooler fonts and everything like that personally i didn't really like the fonts so i didn't download it but it is a cool app if you wanted to get it there is widget smith obviously there is steve the jumping dinosaur which is kind of cool it's like a game that you can play which i do recommend i didn't personally get it but it is cool there is a motivational one i can't find it at the moment it may not be available on the ipad oh no right here motivation daily quotes this just is a really cool thing if you are a motivational quote person because you can set a widget as a motivational quote which is really cool and there's a lot of other apps but those are all the ones that i wanted to target for this video and that is about it another thing i wanted to say is if your ipad is in the vertical mode you can swipe to the left and all those widgets will be there but I personally like it again in this mode. So if you wanted to find any of the pictures that I used in this video, please go to my Pinterest. It is pinned in the iOS 14 board and you can follow me on there if you want, but you don't have to. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. Everything is linked down below. I really appreciate all of your support and I hope we can continue to grow together. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment if you want to chat. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.